How much electricity does it take to run my entire fish room for one year, and how much does it cost me? It's horrifying. Good day to all of my fellow and future hobbyists. My name is Matthew, and I am your BRS beginner guru. What are the annual utility costs for running a saltwater aquarium? That is a totally legit question. Last episode, we covered the total cost of water for one year. My fish room uses over 5,000 gallons in water every year, but because my water rates are low, it's quite inexpensive. But watch this video if you wanna calculate your annual costs. Electrical rates vary wildly across the United States and how your electric company bills you changes per area. Some places have a flat rate, others have a time of day rate, others switch between weekend rates and weekday rates, winter rates for summer rates, it's all across the board. You can't even go state by state because prices within a state vary wildly. Check your electrical bill to see how you're billed and how much you pay per kilowatt hour. Come to find out, we live in one of the most expensive electrical grids in the entire country, but we're still gonna use our bill as an example. We have a time of day plan, so our electrical charges vary by the time of day we use electricity, whether it's winter or summer, and whether it's a weekday or a weekend. And these range from 17 cents per kilowatt hour all the way up to 69 cents per kilowatt hour. And I know there are probably a hundred flaws in doing this, but I'm gonna average out all of my rates and come up with a cost per kilowatt hour. Okay, let's see here. We're going to start with the summer race. Our grand total here in Palm Springs, California averages out to 33 cents per kilowatt hour. You can obviously figure out your own cost per kilowatt hour by looking at your electrical bill. Moving on to tank by tank costs in my gallery. BRS sent me this kilowatt surge protector and I have tracked the actual energy usage on three of my tanks using this bad boy right here. Before we jump into the tank by tank breakdown, just know that it is winter here in Palm Springs, which means our house is kept at a frigid 70 degrees. If you keep your house a lot cooler in the winter time, then your electrical costs will likely be more because your heater will come on quite a bit more. The first tank we are gonna break down for you today is the Innovative Marine 25 gallon Nuvo Fusion Lagoon Tank. My setup has one DC return pump, one Vortec MP10, one max spec jump LED, 65 watts, that's on for 12 hours a day, a Reef Breeders Prism AT and a Phoenix titanium heater. In a 24 hour period, this tank used 1.8 kilowatt hours, which would equal 657 kilowatt hours per year with my average rate of 33 cents a kilowatt hour. The total electrical cost per year for my IM25 Lagoon is $216.81. But remember, I live in one of the most expensive electrical districts in the country. So unless you live in Hawaii, your rates are probably gonna be drastically less. How much would it cost you might ask? Well, here is a breakdown of how much it would cost in some of the big cities across the United States. Rather than go through every single one, just take a peek at this graph I made. We're gonna be looking at Dallas, Minneapolis, New York City, Orlando, Seattle, and then Palm Springs as a reference. For the Innovative Marine 25 gallon Lagoon, we use 657 kilowatt hours. The rates vary wildly between 11 cents per kilowatt hour in Minneapolis on average, all the way up to 33 cents where I live. And that means where it costs $216.81 here in Palm Springs. If you live in Minneapolis, it's only $72. If you live in Orlando, it's even less at $65. So the rates vary wildly across the US. Moving on to our second example, the JBJ RF 65 gallon tank. On this macro algae seahorse tank, I have a twin star 900S LED light, which is on for 12 hours a day, two AC return pumps, one max spec gyre XF330 wave maker, a reef octopus Varios 4 DC pump, an aqua UV 15 watt UV sterilizer, a Camor X1 Pro dosing pump, a Reef Breeders Prism ATO, and a JBJ Arctica 1 10th horsepower chiller. This tank uses 2.9 kilowatts per day for a total of 1,060 kilowatts a year. And with my Palm Springs rate of 33 cents per kilowatt hour, this tank would cost $349.80 per year. I actually know that the cost is gonna be a lot higher because the chiller barely runs at all in the winter. And in the summertime, we keep our house at 78 degrees. So that chiller is on at least 12 hours a day. So that $349 is probably somewhere well over 400, maybe even over $500 a year. 
But how does this compare to the rest of the country? Well, let's pull up our graph and do a little comparison. Again, we're looking at the same cities from New York all the way down to Orlando, looking at 1,060 kilowatts a year. The total cost goes anywhere from $349 where I live to as little as $106 in Orlando, Florida. So be sure to check your local rates because your number is probably a lot less than mine. Moving on to our final example, the Reef Octopus Lux 90 62 gallon tank. This tank has a 36 inch aquatic life T5 LED fixture with four T5 bulbs. It runs for six hours with the T5s and 12 hours with the LEDs. It has two AI16 HD prime LEDs, two time max spec gyre XF330s, a Reef Octopus Varios 4 DC return pump, a Finex titanium heater, a Tunes Osmolator auto top off system, Reef Octopus Essence 130 protein skimmer, a BRS deluxe reactor with a CJ Synchro Silent 1.0, and this tank uses 3.8 kilowatts per day, which comes out to 1,387 kilowatts per year for a grand total of $457.71 a year in electrical costs. Yikes, but how does that stack up across the USA? Well, looking for New York and Orlando using 1,387 kilowatts, the rates go anywhere from $138.70 in Orlando to $332 in Los Angeles, to 457 where I live in Palm Springs. Okay, so we broke down three tanks, and if you are still interested in building your own fish room, how much does it cost overall to run five tanks for an entire year? Let's break it down for you. Take a peek, here is the graph, all five of my tanks for a total water volume of 267 gallons a year split between the five tanks. My yearly kilowatts on average are gonna be around 5,000 at 4,954 probably going to be a little bit higher than that. And the Palm Springs annual cost ranges anywhere for each tank from $216 on the IM25 Lagoon to over $450 on the 62 gallon reef octopus for a grand total, everybody. Oh my goodness. A grand total to run five tanks in Palm Springs, California with almost 270 gallons of water volume is $1,634.82. That is crazy expensive, but how does this number stack up across the rest of the United States? Again, checking our graph all the way from Los Angeles to New York and Seattle with about 5,000 kilowatts, the ranges are anywhere from $495 in Orlando to $1,188 in Los Angeles, all the way up to 1634 here in Palm Springs. Please remember these are estimates. Prices vary wildly and how much energy your tanks consume can also vary wildly. If you want to know exactly how much your current tank uses, then do something like pick up one of these kilowatts. BRS sells them. You can get similar energy tracking search protectors online as well. And as always, everybody, thank you for watching. Happy reefing. Be well. We'll see you next time.